Welcome to yet another Dead Infested Cup match. We got Refrigerator going up against BTB15 once again, upper right-hand corner. Ooh, a little bit of lag on this one because I've got Eski alongside upper right-hand corner. As the yellow Protoss, we have BTB going by Heil FH, HF. I even mispronounced it. It's like right there on screen and I can't say it. That's This is the nature of Infested Cup, I guess. Refrigerator starting at the 3 o'clock location as the orange Protoss. And I feel like in some parallel universe, these maps... Like, you know how they had, like, uh, you have Warcraft 3, and then someone made Dota, right? And then Dota ended up becoming more popular than Warcraft yes. 3. I think in some parallel universe, clearly, this this ended up being StarCraft and ended up being, like, the more popular thing. And I guess, technically, that was kind of the case with Fastest and Big Game Hunters a little bit uh, back in the day uh -huh. at large. But I have a feeling, like, there's some parallel universe out there where some random, maybe not even South Korea, like, a random country like Yugoslavia was just like, okay, you know what? We're, we're, this is our this is our game is the critters and then they just brought it to another level and then just yeah that that became like the big dominant esports someplace. Yes, and we'll have like flashes and jdongs of critter maps where they where they have the whole meta figured out. We've got yeah they're just they have these mind blown moments like arbiters oh how did they and just yeah the incredible matches. <laughs> Recalling an infested Terrans. Um, but as you can see in this uh, matchup here, it's another PvP. But looks like the um, the players are saturating their uh, mineral lines like quite fast, taking the gas real quick, and they're going straight for um, well the usual strategies to go straight for uh, infested terrans here. Um, I don't see the the yellow products do that yet, but refrigerator is right on the money there, and the first uh, infested terran is in production. I think Refrigerator uh, put four probes on gas, so a little bit off in that regard. But I think what BTB doesn't realize is he's already got a bunch of supply to work with because of those double overlords. So he put down a pylon, I think thinking, oh, I need supply. And now that's going to slow him down a little bit. That first infested Terran being built. However, actually, never mind. He got the first infested Terran out, maybe just traversing those critters a little bit more rapidly. I missed it, but it's it's he's close to the base here. He's going around that tree to the left. It looks like he... I would actually oh, even right. go for the gas. Didn't realize he was going to hit that. Is he going to land here? Oh, does no. hit that. Does a little bit of damage. A little bit of radial damage. And in the meantime, is he going to try to capture that infested command center there? A bunch of lords in the base. I don't know that uh, Refrigerator, comparatively, has gotten the scout out. He's still, with his initial infested turn, trying to find his opponent's base. But he has captured all of these other infested command centers across the map. Yeah, BTB is just taking control of the top com infested command centers. And the infested Terrans are making a beeline for, <laughs> for the Nexus here, it looks like. Um, but he's getting blocked by the Bengalas here. Oh no, he got through. Uh, he's trying to detonate on top of the probes here, but oh, he gets a connection. Yeah, he, refrigerator um, is down to three probes. So it is. Uh, it's BTB is down to five probes here. So five we're going blow for blow here. Five versus three, four versus three. Still one infested Terran remaining. Let's see if he gets up to the. It looks like he's going up for the gas line. It's there. There are ties in this. Three probes versus three probes now. But another infested Terran out. So it looks like. One infest so I think Refrigerator might win this just by being able to field more infested Terrans in the midst of this. He's trying to be careful with this infested Terran. He's disrupting mining in the meantime. He's taking some damage from the probe that's landing instead of just suicide into the Nexus. Only two probes left now for BTB, oh, and wow. he is he needs to start mining minerals instead of mining this gas. It's gonna be a while before he has another infested Terran, so he needs to make this one count. Oh, Ugh. No lands it another big explosion there and um they're really going blow for blow here and <laughs> our refrigerator getting off another detonation here uh but they're down to like this really uh scarce economy here with just um a couple of probes mining and the the stream of um you know dead uh infested terrorists doesn't stop here um and as you can see the refrigerator just planted his infested Terran right on the mineral line, and oh, there goes another detonation. And the BTB is sitting on one idle probe here, and he's just trying to mine the patch, but uh, that seems like a futile task to me, Diggity. It's all about the infested Terrans. This probe, like, uh, this probe needs to get a move on because he needs to have at least 50 minerals to mine again, otherwise, it is going to be game by virtue of having 
what it, okay here's the game right this stage refrigerator trying to rebuild get his gas back up which i believe was taken out by an infested terran opposite corner he has overlords moving up but currently btb trying to rebuild his economy from one probe he's got one probe left versus the six probes on the other side of the map right now btb has eyes he's got overlords overhead seeing absolutely everything one more infested terran if it can make it across the map and I think that was a good strategy, sitting in the mineral line, disrupting minerals, and then just blowing up probes, given an opportunity to do so. Right now, refrigerator in a commanding position, seven probes to just two. And <laughs> BTV just now realizing, oh man, Terran would be OP on this map. Why did I, why did I pick, oh, I didn't even realize he's right. There's like a high ground here where you could probably land that command center. That would be OP. So I'm not saying these maps are balanced. StarCraft at large balanced. I'm not sure the Infested Terran <laughs> is in fact balanced. I, it looks like there are critters up there. So maybe that would be an advantage. Get Wraith out, kill a couple or, you know, something out. If you could land a barracks up there, maybe kill, yeah, clear that out. If you can get a command center in position, is that landable? I'm wondering if that's even landable. Because I'm, I'm wondering if there's like a distance where you can even uh, mm -hmm. sneak that in and expand to the high ground. But in the meantime, BTB getting another Infested Terran out. I think I missed an explosion on the right because BTB back down to a single probe. So again, a single probe versus seven. And again, it's going to be a race against time as another infested Terran being built. And this might be the killing blow because if 50 minerals aren't deposited in that nexus, it is going to be a default win for refrigerator. Yeah, and I got... Um the infested Terran of Refrigerator uh, right-clicked, so I can see him go through the critters here, and uh, it's looking very Pac-Man-esque, and he's gonna detonate on top of the Nexus, and the Nexus goes down. <laughs> <laughs> There's GG. All right, we're gonna advance. I think there are still more in the bracket. Again, if you guys want to participate in the next season of Infested Cup, November 30th is the cutoff date. Uh, they're gonna try, it looks like that Infested is trying to run three leagues, so it's kind of like the I'm not sure if it's based on MMR or what. So you have the three leagues, Wretched League, Morrick League, and Explosive League. Explosive League being the top, Morrick League being kind of the in-between, and Wretched League being everybody else. Uh, so be sure to, uh, I'll make sure I link that in chat. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for listening.